Hi, I'm Bree from My Abiding Home and today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough tortillas with einkorn flour. These are great to keep on hand for things like wraps, burritos, enchiladas. Um, we use them a lot for breakfast burritos, so follow along to see how simple it is. And um, my favorite thing about it is that they bring a nutty flavor to the tortillas because of the einkorn ancient grains. Welcome to My Abiding Home. This is a place where I share encouragement and discipleship, wholesome food, natural living, and DIY. I'm passionate about being the heart of the home and a good steward of all that God has entrusted to me. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a video. So first, you're going to go ahead and add all the ingredients to a stand mixer. You could also use a large bowl with a wooden spoon or your hands. Next, go ahead and mix all the ingredients together in your stand mixer or in a bowl with your hands or a wooden spoon. Mix just until combined and not any further. Green corn has a low gluten content and it doesn't like to be over mixed. You'll end up with super hard and um, stiff tortillas if you over mix. Once all the ingredients are just combined, you're going to transfer the dough to a greased bowl and cover it with plastic or beeswax wrap to rise. Once the dough is done rising, after you've allowed it to ferment, go ahead and lightly flour a work surface and divide the dough into 12 to 24 equal parts depending on whether you want small tortillas or large and um, roll them out to cook on a hot cast iron skillet. You want to roll them as thin as possible before they start to fall apart. To cook, heat a cast iron skillet over medium heat and add a drizzle of olive oil or avocado oil for cooking. Once it begins to bubble, you can go ahead and flip it. It should take about 10 to 30 seconds for each side and you want to flip it only once.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a video. And head over to the blog at myabidinghome.com for the full recipe.